everyone. Welcome back to Today on Display and welcome to Display Trivia. It's time to figure out what we're playing for in tonight's game. So, as you can see, we've got the wheel here. We have $1,000 slots, $2,500 slots, and $5,000 slots. Whatever we land on, that's going to be your prize if you can answer all of the questions correctly. So let's do this thing. Let's spin the wheel. We're playing for $5,000. I felt it. I felt it. I knew it was coming. I didn't even have to look. How excited are you? All right. If you want to play trivia, here's what you got to do. Nothing. Stay right where you are. In just a little bit, the questions are going to pop up on your screen. There's 10 of them. You have to answer each one correctly in order to get a piece of that prize. You got about 10 seconds to answer each. In the meantime, we'll be right back with more Today on Display. Welcome back to Today on Display and welcome to Display Trivia. Just a spoonful of money helps the trivia go down, the trivia go down, trivia go down. Seriously though, would you all be playing with me if there was no prize? Just to hang out with your favorite quiz queen and expand your knowledge? Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Well, fortunately for you, there is a prize. Yeah, there's always a prize. And tonight's is five thousand dollars to be exact that's a lot of spoons which honestly i really need because they always seem to go missing just like my socks maybe they're eloping together i digress again tonight's pot is a whopping five thousand dollars whether you want to buy spoons or sugar it's up to you there's plenty of money for that and here are the rules you'll have 10 seconds to pick your answer and choose wisely because once you tap there is no going back if you miss one, you will no longer be eligible for the cash prize, but stay in the game because you can keep playing along for fun. Whew, 5,000. Are you feeling ready? You feel ready? I'm kind of antsy with that kind of money. So let's get this trivia party started. Here we go. Question one. What is the name of the weather condition when liquid water falls from the sky? Snow, hail, rain. What is the name of the weather condition when liquid water falls from the sky? Snow, hail, rain. Liquid water, liquid water. I mean, I'm no meteorologist, but I think I got the meteorologist of this question. What's it called when water falls from the sky? Well, apparently at certain points in time, frogs and fish have also fallen from the sky. Meatballs too, yeah. And if you ask the weather girls, they'll tell you they've seen men doing this. Eh, men don't do much of anything, so I'll believe it when I see it. Am I right, ladies? But hallelujah, it's gonna be raining cash for some of you. Yeah, raining cash, rain, rain, rain. Let's make like queens and rain into Q2. Hewlett Packard makes all of the following products except printers, computers, candlesticks. Hewlett Packard makes all of the following products except printers, computers, candlesticks. Hmm. I mean, this question seems pretty easy to me. Like one of these things very clearly does not belong. And it's printers. Duh. Computers and candlesticks? I never have a problem with. But printers? Is there a printer in the history of office supplies that has ever actually worked the way it was supposed to? God, I feel like the printer's being worked on more times than it's actually working. Is there any way we can get, like, make a printer that prints a working printer? HP makes electronics, so unless the candlestick runs off a charge, it's probably not made by them. Next question, question three. This substance produces the bubbles found in certain fizzy drinks. Nitrous oxide, carbon dioxide, sulfuric acid. This substance produces the bubbles found in certain fizzy drinks. Nitrous oxide, carbon dioxide, sulfuric acid. Ooh, I love me a good fizzy drink to settle the stomach. Especially when I'm nervous. 
which I mean I am every time we do this because I want to pronounce everything right and I want you all to win. I really do. Oh, does anyone have a seltzer, uh, soda, water? Also, what is the difference between either of those things? They're just bubble water, right? Plain and simple. They're also all manufactured using carbon dioxide. Hey guys, this uh, next round's on me. Question four. Dorothy follows the yellow brick road with all of the following friends except the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, the Wicked Witch of the West. Dorothy follows the yellow brick road with all of the following friends except the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, the Wicked Witch of the West. Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road, follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, the yellow brick road. It looks nice. It does look nice. But what is the upkeep on that? I don't mean to sound like my mother, but it seems like it would get real dirty real fast. Just like this, just like this outfit. Guys, no shoes on the yellow brick road, please. I just cleaned it. Dorothy, I know you like those red ones, but come on, a little help. You all are making like mom and cleaning up nice today. Uh, she's accompanied by her little dog Toto, the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, and the Cowardly Lion. But that witch prefers to travel by broom. Question five. Which of the following is not a specific type of the body part a dentist would work on? Incisor, feline, molar. Which of the following is not a specific type of the body part a dentist would work on? Incisor, feline, molar. I guess it all depends on what part you open up and say, ah, when the dentist asks. I could think of a few places that could use an inspection. Guys, don't be gross. I'm, I mean this skin tag behind my knee and maybe this mole on the back of my neck. Can anyone see that? Yeah, I should probably get a checkup, but what about a check-in? Doesn't anyone want to know how I'm doing? <sighs> I'm doing great, by the way. I'm doing great. The dentist is going to want to get a look at those pearly whites. Yeah, the ones in your mouth. And you've got canines, but no felines in there, unless the cat's got your tongue. Question six. Select the ingredient most unlikely to be present in a traditional vindaloo. Coconut milk, mozzarella cheese, chickpeas. Select the ingredient most unlikely to be present in a traditional vindaloo. Coconut milk, mozzarella cheese, chickpeas. We are asking for a traditional vindaloo, right? The way God intended. Chefs are always looking to put new spins on old classics to get a buzz. People, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The sushi burrito, really? Unnecessary. Dessert pizza? We are flying too close to the sun. Stop putting things together that don't want to be together. <sighs> this all goes with saying that I would eat anything. Even a curry vindaloo with mozzarella cheese, even though that should probably never happen in this Indian dish. Question seven. This is the only continent on earth without a desert. Antarctica, South America, Europe. This is the only continent on Earth without a desert. Antarctica, South America, Europe. If you've seen the British office, you know the UK is one of the driest places in the world, but is it a desert? Well, it's not for its meat pies, but those are more savory than sweet. No, deserts are places with little to no rainfall. Desserts are the most important part of every meal. Oof, sorry, glad we cleared that up in time for you to hurry up and lock in that answer. The only continent that lacks one of these ecosystems is Europe. Yep, yep, although it's covered in ice and snow, it rarely precipitates in Antarctica, making it a desert. Oof, that was a hard one. Question eight. All of the following writers are associated with a famous wooded area and small body of water outside Concord, Massachusetts, except Mark Twain. Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau. All of the following writers are associated with a famous wooded area and small body of water outside Concord, Massachusetts, except Mark Twain, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau. Yeah, this place was basically a writer's retreat where men with long, unkempt beards would go stare at the water and think, 
deep thoughts. What is it with men wanting to sit by bodies of water and do nothing? Is that why they like fishing so much? Golf is kind of the same thing, but instead of lots of water, it's lots of grass. Or maybe it was just the 1800s and there was nothing to do. Either way, this spot is Walden Pond, and it was written up by Thoreau and frequented by Emerson. Although Mark Twain was a contemporary, this question was not one of his typical haunts. Question nine. In November 2017, Apple released a new iPhone, skipping which numeric version of the product? Seven, eight, nine. In November 2017, Apple released a new iPhone, skipping which numeric version of the product? Seven, eight, nine. For a company that manufactures tech, you'd think they'd be just a little bit better at numbers, right? Are you telling me none of my Apple products know how to count? I mean, this must be why I'm always late to meetings and miss all my deadlines. It certainly couldn't be anything that I'm doing wrong. Either way, in 2017, Apple jumped right on ahead to this next version of the phone. The first one to be represented by just a Roman numeral X, which is Roman numeral for 10, which I totally knew. I totally knew that. Didn't just look it up. Ah, I know why nine was missing. Cause seven, eight, nine. It's time for the final question. Question 10. Which of the following, which Nintendo character was the first to be playable in the Mario games franchise? Donkey Kong, Princess Peach, Toadette. Of the following, which Nintendo character was the first to be playable in the Mario games franchise? Donkey Kong, Princess Peach, Toadette. Hurry up to Slabies, select your player. We're going into the final round of the night. You really want to pick a winner here. On Mario Kart, I never bother upgrading my vehicle because only a poor craftsman blames his tools. Also, I am so bad at the game, it wouldn't make a lick of a difference. Not one lick. Speaking of licks, you all are so close to this money. I bet you can taste it. Beloved by fans worldwide, the first Mario game was released in eight, 1981, and it was actually an arcade game called Donkey Kong. Princess Peach was playable a few years later when Nintendo figured out women can be the main characters of their own stories. And Toadette is relatively new, appearing in the early 2000s. Speaking of new, do we have any new winners? Any first time winners? I wanna hear from you, throw down in the chat. You came, you slayed, you displayed your knowledge and you got paid. For any newbies, we say that at the end of every show. We got fresh stacks of cash and questions for you folks tomorrow. So I'll see you then on display.